How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dave B and I sell Chevys. Now today we're gonna to take a look at the service department. We do have a certified service center here at the dealership in the uh, you know unlikely event you have a problem with your vehicle or if you're just doing routine maintenance. So let's go take a look and see what the service department is all about. So should you need service or any kind of maintenance on your vehicle, you basically would start here in like our customer entrance. Rainy days, if there's no cars in here, we'll open up the door, you can drive right on in. You can basically leave your car here, you get out of your car and you're gonna move over to one of these stations where you're gonna have one of our service riders who can basically take care of uh, your, your request for maintenance service, get your appointment set up or whatever that may be. And then you go right through our door here to the showroom and the customer service lounge. And in that lounge, we obviously have TVs and coffee machines and water and you know chairs, all the stuff that you know most dealerships would have in their service department waiting area. Uh, over here, you'll notice we have soda and vending machines. We have a small little wheel display. We have a tire display, some wiper blades, and then we got a battery display. Now the battery display is pretty cool. See, these batteries may look real, but it's just the shell. So they're super lightweight. So a couple of years ago, one of the guys here, Harold, would play tricks on people and he would basically be holding this like it was heavy and then just toss it over to you know, another employee or something like that. Uh, it, was, it was an awesome laugh. This area over here is generally used for like a car. So a lot of times we'll have a showroom car cleaned up. We have our showroom cars inside, not at the moment, but when we did, and we would also put one here, or a lot of times we'll put a delivery here. You know, if a car is all cleaned up and a customer is gonna pick it up, we'll park it here. Uh, Corvettes, you know, C8s, past times we put Z06s here, that sort of stuff. So basically this is empty unless the sales department, you know, puts something in that location. But that's pretty much it. It's very, it's very inviting, it's very, uh, it's a very nice atmosphere and the employees here are great. They'll take very good care of you. Behind this door here, this garage door, is our service department. So that's all your lifts, your bays, where all the technicians work. And um, uh, you know what? I, I don't know that you guys, I don't know if you're authorized personnel. So I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can bring in here. Um, let me try, let me try another door. I'm trying guys, I'm trying to gain you access to the actual service department. I'm gonna try the side door over here. Ah, no go, authorized personnel only. Uh, but while we're here, let's talk about the night drop. This is our night drop. Uh, basically what you do is you drop this down. We have pens, we have one pen, we have envelopes. Uh, if you had to drop your car off after hours, like on a Sunday when we're closed or, or in the middle of the night, something like that, you fill out one of those envelopes, you drop it in the mail slot, and in the morning, service department gets it as soon as they come in. Now how, how, how am I gonna get you inside here? Um, the back door. I can already see it. Authorized personnel only. Well, there's only one more spot that might work. Final attempt. By the way, sometimes we make hot dogs on this grill. Nope. Authorized personnel only. I'm sorry guys, I thought I was gonna be able to gain you access to, uh, to the actual shop. But, um, you know, listen, it's like an operating room in a hospital, you know, that that shop is where all the work gets done on vehicles and uh, you got to be authorized personnel to see inside there. Here's a small glimpse of our uh, our detail bay that I can uh, kind of show you as I back out this Silverado that I sold earlier today. This is a 2021 custom crew cab. The gentleman just went home to pick up his wife so they can come back together and take delivery. They'll be back here probably within the next 10 or 15 minutes. In the meantime, while I wait for them, I wanna tell you a story of why I think I can't film inside the actual service department. The story dates back to 2012, and uh, let me just park this truck and then I'll, I'll explain what I mean.
So back in 2011 and into 2012, when we did the renovation of the showroom that you know now from all my videos, uh, right now I would be standing outside because this garage door was actually the main door for the building. You can actually see the mail slot is still here. Uh, this was what we used to use for our night drop. None of this or anything going forward was here. So when you're in the showroom, that's all brand new. The finance office, the BDC office, the sales manager's office, the bathrooms, like everything was literally brand new. Actually, if I have a picture, if I could find one, I'm gonna put it in right now of what the old showroom looked like. It was basically just like a glass extension to the actual building, you know, glass on all three sides. You had obviously entry into what was the old building for both uh, like the back offices and the service department. You had a little small service waiting room, maybe seven salespeople desks. You could only fit uh, two cars in the showroom. And then you had uh, like partitioned cubicles where like the office manager, I'm sorry, the uh, finance manager and the sales manager would sit. So it was very small, very tight. So when they built this, we were like in heaven, it was awesome. Now, one of the things that was a problem with the old showroom and the old building was this was like the main door to get into the service department. Now, let's say you wanted to go in because you were dropping your car for an oil change. Well, you were walking in and you were in there with the lifts, with the technicians, you know, in the mix and in, of, of everything that was going on in that shop. Let's say you wanted to go to the parts department. You actually had to go into the shop between two bays maybe cars on the lifts, maybe stuff on the floor, whatever it was to get to the parts counter. So that parts counter is still there for like the technicians and, and for salespeople, stuff like that. But as you can see here, now you have a nice customer corridor down the hallway, you pass the cashier on the left, you go down to the end of the hall, you have the parts department, you know, so you have a nice area where you could access, you know, the parts department without actually having to go through the shop. And I think that was pretty much the main thing that Chevrolet wanted to do was make it as comfortable as possible for customers to move about the showroom, the service waiting area, you know, the parts department, the cashier, the restrooms, everywhere you would have to go without having to actually access the shop. And for that reason, I really don't think I can film in that area where it's authorized personnel only. And uh, you know, I'm bringing this up because of the fact I've gotten comments in the past and very recently about doing service videos about like the service department and maybe the bolt battery replacements and things like that. And it's just hard to film. Uh, one, because I don't know, should I be filming back here? Two, does the technician want to be on camera? You know, unfortunately, when you put a camera in front of somebody, it, it changes people. You know, like I, I, I challenge you to go on your phone if you're on Instagram or Facebook or whatever and just do like I'm doing. Talk to your, your followers and make a video. It's a little awkward and, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get that, to get that, that, what's the right word? Confidence maybe or just the, the, the comfort level of doing it. So for now, I wouldn't hold my breath and wait for actual videos about the service department or service on vehicles, things like that. Plus, that's not really my expertise. Um, but if I can fit something like that in the future and I, I'm allowed to do it and I can find a way to do it where um, I'm happy with the end result, uh, listen, subscribe to the channel. Maybe one day you'll, uh, you'll see that type of video. For now, thanks for watching this. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.